We are underway at the StubHub Center in Carson, California. Undefeated Francisco Vargas, El Bandido, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion in the black trunks with the blue gloves. Orlando CD Salido from Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico has a lot of fans. He might be the fan favorite here at StubHub Center. A lot of people from Ciudad Obregón live in Southern California. And as you saw at the weigh-ins, they were loud we for the fighter. support there. And we'll see about tonight. These early rounds are going to be very important for both fighters. For Vargas, he has to avoid clashes of heads. He has to avoid elbows. He has to avoid sustaining any damage, uh, especially to that right eye. He is susceptible to swelling and to cuts. And for Salido, he has to watch out getting caught clean. He's been dropped a lot in recent fights. And he's a Get momentum fighter. He's the kind of guy who gets stronger as the fight goes on, but he needs that momentum. He needs to, to gain steam and get warmed up and get into that rhythm. Two fights in 2015 for Salido against Roman Rocky Martinez in Puerto Rico. He right, lost the decision. Up 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 and it was a hell of a fight, though. And the, the rematch in Nevada is wrong. And I thought he won that fight. I think I had a 116, 114 for Siri. And in 2014, he knocked out Terzak Togianian in Mexico in the 11th round. And then before that, he beat in a split decision Basil Olomachenko, who is here tonight. Cut. Lomachenko is a featherweight title holder right now, but he's throwing his hat into the 130-pound division. I think he's scheduled to fight. Uh, Salido's uh, good friend, Rocky Martinez, pretty soon. A lot of fighters here in attendance for this one. Not just the Golden Boy Stables. Fighters also have Susu Ramirez, the Mexican. There's a fight coming up. Mexico's first super middleweight title holder. Yeah. Break! Despacito, despacito. Vamos. Near sellout at Stub Hub Center in Carson. Two fighters filling each other out of the first round. Francisco Vargas went to the 2008 Olympics. Toledo's uh, legs went numb for just a second. You got you for a second. Yeah, you know, that fight you were talking about against Kurt Set John Dunn, I, I think they were like seven or eight knockdowns yeah. between the two of those 11 rounds. Oh, fine. That's one of those you just YouTube. You're like, okay, I'll watch this again. And right now, Bandido's coming out. Gets caught with the left by Salido. Crowd already standing up in the first round. As referee Raul Caiz thought it was the bell, but it was actually the 10 clap. That's why he stepped between them. And he brings them back together, and that's the bell as Caiz is looking over. Realizing he just went over, okay, we're using the, the clapper for 10 seconds? Okay, making sure. His adrenaline is pumping just like everybody else's. Yep. There's uh, Mike Rodriguez, a cut man, on a, the left eyebrow of Francisco Vargas. Now, Mike Rodriguez was not with Francisco Vargas for his last fight against Mura, and that was a fight. Just Google that, you'll see the images. Vargas' fight was beat up. Yeah, he needed Michael. He definitely needed Mike Rodriguez. That There's some concern that maybe Vargas' face hasn't healed since November because of the amount of punishment that Muru was able to inflict on that face. Yeah, there's some people who even thought maybe that fight should have been stopped. I was one of them. We're in the second round. It's scheduled for 12. The championship belt on the line. Bandido in black. What's he have to do to win this? Um, he needs to use his height and his reach. He needs to land power shots from the outside. Needs to avoid clinches. Cannot let Orlando Salido in close because if he does, his body's going to get banged up, but that forehead is going to clash with his face. CD Salido. CD is a nickname of a Yaqui warrior, a fighter, a guerrero, they say in Spanish. Yaqui Indians in Obregón, Sonora, Mexico, in the northern part of the state. Vargas from the capital, Mexico City. Different upbringing. Vargas. Middle class, Salido had to survive as a kid just to eat at times. Talking to some of the Mexican media in town for this fight. 
a lot of them talking to Salido, they said he's the people's champ. Yes, a lot of is. people resonate with him. But he came from nothing. Literally nothing. He had his, another fighter who had a steal to eat as a teenager. And he fights with the kind of hunger that fighters who have that sort of background fight with. And I think he just got uh, rocked. Again, he got clipped a couple times in that opening round. But he's going very well to the body. He's one of the best body punchers in the game. And you'll notice a lot of those body shots are borderline or south of the border. 35-year-old Salido, a lot of tread on that tire, just wondering if he still has enough in it to keep going. With a younger Francisco Vargas, who's fresh, considering he's a Mexican fighter at the age of 30, only 24 fights. And Vargas letting his hands go a bit here in the second round. Uppercut nicely landed by Bandido. Beautiful technique from Vargas. Got clipped with two uh, overhand rights from Sal Salido. This is the kind of fight people were expecting immediately. They're expecting the action. This is why people spent some money to come to the Stuff Hunt Center because they knew they wanted to even work this fight for free at times to see this one. Didn't take long. These guys did not need to warm to the slugfest. No, nah, they're good. Why wait? I'm feeling out sure. <laughs> we know what we're each other about. I think it's good that Vargas is able to back Salido to the ropes. If Salido's coming forward, that's when he's most dangerous. Good right landed by Vargas. He's in the black trunks. You see how well the veteran mixes his punches up to the body and the head. Final seconds of the second round. It's scheduled for 12 with the WBC Super Featherweight Belt on the line in Carson, California. Tiempo! Vasil Lomachenko, current WBO featherweight title holder, looking to become a player at junior lightweight. Maybe looking at the winner of this fight as a, a potential opponent. I know he'd like some revenge against Salido. Yeah, he took that one, his fourth professional fight? Second. Second! Ambitious young man from uh, the Ukraine. Well, the way that he had been brought up in the amateur system. Highly touted Lomachenko, but right now we're watching Vargas and Salido. Two action-packed rounds in the books. Salido in the red, uppercut. Vargas. Vargas lives in Mexico City. Altitude training is one of the factors that he does. So at this pace, one wonders if they can maintain it and how the conditioning factor will play into this one. Salido spends his time between, splits his time between Phoenix and Sonora, right across the Arizona border. Both guys look like they're in magnificent shape. Oh, yeah. Of course, Salido's been 12 round distance so many times in tough fights, so he's, he's been there and he's done that and he's used to it. Vargas showed us a lot of metal in his uh, title winning victory against Miura. So you know he's the kind of guy, he's not a front runner. He can rage back if he needs to. Nice overhand right from Salido, followed by a left to the body. You look at the records of the two fighters, obviously the bigger names are going to be on Orlando Salido. Francisco Vargas stopped Mura, but before that, he stopped Australian Will Tomlinson. Looked really good in that fight. Let us know he was ready to take the next step. But nobody else that really stands out as a fighter with the quality of the opposition that Salido has faced. No, but he was, Vargas was put into the right fighters to advance yes. him and for him to grow and for him to learn. And, and he, he did. did that. And he did without a doubt. I'm saying, like, he's had Salido, the fight with Rocky Martinez, Lomachenko. 
there's so much. Two that, with Juan Juan Lopez. Yeah, yeah. And those fights ruined poor Juan Juan Lopez, who was looked at as a, an elite fighter. Some people had him in the pound for pound. A two division title holder from Puerto Rico. Never the same after uh, Salido got done with him. Salido beat, knocked him out in 2011, and the rematch knocked him out in 2012. Yeah, both had, times in Puerto Rico. Had to get off the canvas to, uh, for the rematch victory. Body work from Salido. Hard nice shot shots. from Vargas. Yeah. Vargas doing a lot of damage upstairs. Salido doing more damage downstairs. It's a pretty good round for the veteran, I think. Yes, he is. Cedi Salido in the red. Having a good one. Going to rise out of the stub hub crowd. Good upper from Vargas. Quick left, good right from Vargas. Answering back is Bandido, the bandit. Good round, good action between Francisco Vargas and Orlando Salido. Cut on the left eyebrow of Francisco Vargas. That happened in the first round. Mike Rodriguez, the cut man, doing work over there in between rounds. You see that tattoo on the left shoulder of Francisco Vargas. Got it after the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. You'll see when Salido goes to the body, he's not shy about hitting the waistband or even strand low. Vargas answers back in kind, beautiful uppercuts, hooks, and crosses from the defending title holder. Blood coming out of the left eye of Vargas. Mouse developing underneath the left eye. Salido going back after it. Standing in the middle ring, exchanging other two Mexicans. You know, there were people who said, well, Salido, he just doesn't have it anymore. He's a spit bullet coming in here. This is going to be a what? blowout for Vargas. Yeah, these are know-it-all fans. And I'm just thinking to myself, dude, shut up with your BS cynicism and enjoy the fight. This doesn't look like a dude anybody would ever say he spent. Well, what I pointed out is in his last fight, I thought he won the top. Most people thought he beat Rocky yeah. Martinez. So obviously he's not spent. You're not going to be a main event fighter if you're no. spent. No. At least not here tonight. You know the guy's going to bring it. This is a huge opportunity for him. But on the flip side, I saw some people giving credit to Vargas. We were one of them of taking the first title defense against a guy like Salido. Most guys have an easy first title defense. That's, that's, that's supposed to be your gimme. This is not a gimme. You're supposed to enjoy it for a little bit, right? And anybody who thought that this was going to be a gimme for Vargas, you don't know boxing as well as you think you do. This is the one when you talk to Vargas Banter, why? They said because Francisco wanted it. We have it. He's in the black trunks. Minute to go in the fourth round. Good movement. So he was just going to stand there. He's going to try to give it to you. He might have the power he used to, but he will be there. He's heavy handed. And he makes up for any lack of power with sheer volume and punch selection. And he's connecting like that. Put it together, put a combination together with Salido in the red trucks. And Vargas is keeping a high guard. He's got good head and upper body movement, but Salido is such a volume puncher. And he's so crafty with his punch selection, he cannot evade them all. A Bandido chance for the first time tonight. They've been Salido, but now he's got the Bandido. The Mexico City fans 
fans are cheering for the fighter. Another good, fun, filled round in Carson. That's Victor Postal. He is the WBC super lightweight title holder, and he is going to be taking on fellow title holder. Terrence Crawford. Next month, I believe. Yes, oh, he does. July, actually. Late July. Yeah, next month. Yeah, next month. We're good. It's the beginning of June right now, Dougie. We're, <laughs> we're getting our stuff up fixed right now. And as they pointed out of the truck, expertly of analysis. analysis. Salido, he has that great poker face. But you can't tell if he's winning, if he's losing. When you do an interview with him, you don't know if he's happy, if he's sad. He's just stoic, like right there. He's biting down on his mouthpiece right now, but yeah, this is another day of the office for, for Siri Salido. He scraps. I was told the story about Siri Salido by Oscar Vargas, who was at the Olympics with him in 2000, uh, who, who actually knows Siri uh, Salido because they're from the same area. He said that Salido is just known as the people's champ with him, but when he was a teenager, he and his girlfriend at that time used to go into a market and the girlfriend would wear a big t-shirt <laughs> okay. and she would rob and put Five a finger discount. No, she would put a chicken underneath her shirt, right. make it look like she was pregnant. Right. The third time it happened, they chased him out of the store and he beat up two of the people that were chasing him. And he's become folk, now the legend is that he beat up the entire street. <laughs> yeah, right. But that's just, it wasn't that he was a thief, it's that he was hungry. Yeah. And he's showing survival. some hunger right now. Good pressure from Francisco Vargas. Nice uppercuts. Now's his chance to put some punishment on the veteran when he has a vet. Oh, man, look at that oh. blood dip from the oh. eye. Look at that. What action. We knew there would be sustained action. We knew there would be brutality. We knew there would be blood. Here it is. We're witnessing it. So and we we're just halfway through this round. Sorry. We're not even halfway through the fight. Yeah, sorry to step on you there. I'm getting a little excited, but there was blood in the first round. <laughs> yes, there was, but now it's really coming down over that left eye. But it's been a pretty good round for Vargas. Another competitive round. Yes, it is. Vargas' body work is more emphasis here in these last couple rounds where the first one was going upstairs. And now you see the heavy hand for 50 seconds ago in this round. Great conditioning with both fighters. Oh, this is fun. If you're a fight fan, you're getting your money worth right now. Oh, big right from Salido. But Vargas stays right there. You see the, that, that left hook of uh, Salido. It's not just hitting the, the, the rib cage of Vargas. It, it's hitting the hip and it's hitting the pelvis. Uppercut by Vargas. This is the one where you see a boxer in the gym working that heavy bag and they hear the 30 second bell. They keep going, keep going. This is where that's paying off right now. And they're, that one minute break that they're about to get is going to be enjoyed quickly. These are great rounds. They're so close. So tough to call, but I think Vargas edged this one. So they need to tap the up and acknowledge each other. As actually Raul Caiz is stopping the clock, he's going to take him to the doctor to have it check it out. There's the Lito's wife. He doesn't have to worry about the chickens anymore. It's got to be tough watching her husband go through this, though. Cut above the left eye, Francisco Vargas. Six minutes, six minutes. 
there should be a sense of urgency because the position is keeping an eye on the right side position is looking at this is action the previous round. The heads did come together. They were really sweeping. Right cross from Salida. And another one. And an elbow, too. Yeah, shoulder in there. And then you see the blood trickle down. Even as Vargas keeps punching and the one two combination. Brutal exchanges here from both guys. Just needed that kitchen seat there, right? All you need in that one? Yeah. It, was, it was the glove, then the forearm elbow, then the shoulder. Pretty soon it's going to be that patch that's falling off of yeah, Vargas's right. trunks. Got hit so hard the stitching came off. And Francisco Vargas is very quiet in nature. The team saw the Vargas at, who was at the Olympics with him in 2008 in Beijing. You know, he said in the Athens Village, Vargas was the guy who would just go with you to dinner everywhere. You go out to enjoy other sports. I never heard him say anything. Even when he laughs, he just smiles. That's his way of laughing. He's, no expression from him. Doesn't talk much. He said, but he's just a good-natured guy yes. that enjoys the sport of boxing. No other sports does he watch. Doesn't partake in anything else. Grew up only as a boxer. And here he is with the green belt around his waist, but he's in a tough one with Orlando City Salido. Oh. Up for cut landing. Body went. Oh, good shot from Vargas. Yeah. That stunned Salido. Salido was wrong. Oh, another up for cut from Vargas. What a chance from Salido. He takes a big shot from Bandido Vargas. In the corner is Salido. Overhand right. Another one from Vargas. Up for cut. Vargas is trying to unload here. And Salido is right there with him, taking the shot, absorbing it. Halfway through the sixth round, a big round for Francisco Vargas so far. Salido is firing back though. Yes, he is, Doug. And more blood coming out of that left eye. Up and down to the rope for Salido. Yeah, his legs gave Woo. way a little bit, but he, he hasn't been off his feet yet. Well, but he just went back. <laughs> this is something Vargas needs to do. He needs to stop the momentum of Salido. He needs to fight with a sense of urgency because that cut is not going to get any better over his left arm. Oh, another left from Vargas. Uppercut from Vargas. Good action from Francisco and Bandido Vargas. And here comes the Yaki Indian Series Salido. Those long arms from Vargas are really showing it here. Using the distance, able to do what he wants here in this sixth round. That's a lot of punches thrown in this round from Vargas with that heavy punches he threw. Yeah, he might be a little arm going. He's breathing heavy. It's going to take a lot to knock down C.D. Salido. Well, and even if you do, you know he's going to get up. And he's not just going to get up. He's going to throw punches back. He's doing that right now. He's had some nice combinations in the, in the past moment. Two to the body, one to the head. All Vargas in this round. But Salido knocked that third couple in there alone. And yeah, this is definitely Vargas' round. Best round of the night for Francisco Vargas. Action packed round, action packed fight, and that'll do with the bell hit. Toe-to-toe -to -toe action here. Right to the body, left to the body, right to the head. Lance flush. Momentarily buckles the knees of the veteran. At the end of the round, Salido coming back with four-punch combination. Punctuated by a left uppercut. Seventh round, Doug, how do you have it going into this one? I've got Vargas up four rounds to two. There's some very close rounds. There's rounds that I scored for Vargas that could have gone to Salido, and rounds I scored for Salido that probably could have gone to Vargas. 
is one of those fights I really hate to score. I just want to watch. <laughs> right, I'll, stop, I'll stop asking. No, no, please do. This is, this is what we get paid for. <laughs> I'll, preach, I'll keep you on your toes, though. You know, get you off that fence, baby. But you got to give the younger man and defending title holder the edge. He has rocked Salido at least three times during this fight. Yeah, the patches on Salido, on uh, Vargas' trunk have just fallen off. One of them's already gone. One of the backs ready to go. And But maybe that's how hard he's punching. Because Salido looks worn here in the seventh round. He's feeling it. But did Vargas punch himself out in that sixth round? Because he went strong for two solid minutes. Loading up on his punches. Oh, a right from Salido. Another good right from CD Salido hits Vargas. Salido was feeling worn down, but he's also making Vargas feel these punches. Vargas is slowing down. This might be, have to be sort of a recovery round if Salido will allow him to have it. Yeah. After the effort that he, he, he put out in round six. Let me try to recover against CD Salido. Not gonna happen because Salido's gonna bring that pressure to you. Right hand from Salido, left hook from Vargas. Quick left hooks. Vargas, body shot Salido. All of Vargas's punches are, are very crisp. He's got excellent tight technique. If there's any kind of boxing fan that was on the fence of who they're going for, I think Vargas is the one that they're starting to pull for because of the bigger shots that he's landing. And He's, ex he's an exciting fighter. This is the first time you're seeing him because you heard about the mirror fight. You are finding something that you can root for. Yeah, he's winning over fans with his heart. They see the blood on his face. They see the punches that he's taking from his head and his body and below the belt. And they see him battle on. They see him take the fight to the rugged veteran. And that's winning them over. I think maybe there were some guys who came in here Chanting Salido, Salido, but I'm now chanting Bandito, Bandito. And all you gotta do is skip the O in there, you're alright. <laughs> you wanna be on that band here, Stop. Right, no problem. Or you could just That's chant Mexico. There you oh. go. Well, you gotta be careful, you got the regional there. <laughs> That's true. Mexico City, so no, <laughs> not exactly the same demographic. Yeah, Ten the seconds to go in the seventh round, it's scheduled for 12 WBC Super Featherweight on <laughs> the line. Salido pranks a right uppercut as they go toe to toe on the inside. There's a left uppercut followed by a right cross, followed by a left hook, followed by a right cross. Stiff trade of jabs from both guys. I think Salido's wife is feeling a little bit better after that round. Well, not gift, but he earned it in your card. Oh, he earned it. <laughs> Everybody didn't earn it. It was not a gift. <laughs> Hard earned. Francisco Vargas, 23-0-1 with 17 KO. He's in the black truck. CD Salido, 42-13-3 with 29 KO. He's in the red trunks. CD Salido, start his career. In 1996, at 119 pounds. All right, stop! Respire, 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 vamos. 20 years ago. Talk about a man who has paid his dues in the sport. Here we go, back to the fight, you turn pro at 15, 16 years old. There was a head hit. Come in, down to the left hook. Stop! Stop! It is definitely affecting Vargas more than it is Salido. Vargas is ready to cut on that left eyebrow. Yeah. It hurts. They're going to stop it. It might be another cut. Maybe he's getting that double vision or something. It definitely ran for him. Took him off his game for a moment. The referee will not pay you senior. Stop it. Talk to Vargas. Fue accidente, pero abusado. La última, la siguiente te va a costar. 
Just a warning, let him know. Keep the hands up. The touch glove. Hey, proud of that. Come on, Addy. Come on, Addy. There's been 12 rounds of action from Quest into the last seven rounds. <laughs> There's some fights where you walk away going, man, what did I just watch here? What did I suffer? Not this one. At this point, you're, you're just privileged to, to witness it live, especially if you can witness it here in the open air of Carson, California. Body shot from Solito. That hurt body. Is that right body shot from Solito? Other hand right from Solito. The Yaki Indian coming on strong. Oh, big right hand from Solito. Vargas says four. A left from Solito. That's hard right here. Good flurry for Orlando Series Salido with a minute to go in the eighth round. Both of these fighters could take a big punch. And they're showing that tonight, and they can both land big punches. Body work. One of the few times they clutch. Oh, they're taking advantage, taking a breath here with 30 seconds. Oh, right away, Salido. More body work from Siri Salido. Right hand. A good round for the 35-year-old in red, Orlando Siri Salido. The body work has weakened Vargas and it's opened him up to these headshots that we've seen in this round. Ten seconds to go. Salido, in some way, has made himself look fresher and stronger in this round. They lean on each other and they back off. Crowd still on their feet. Catching him with the jab, loads up with the overhand right, rocks the head back of Vargas, gets him with the left uppercut, gets him with the left to the hip, gets a uh, uh, left hook, just misses with the left uppercut, huge overhand right, connects again, Vargas waves him in. Wave you in, ninth round, scheduled for 12. And Sirius Alito coming off a strong round. Doug, how do you have it going into this one? I've got it even. Four rounds apiece. All right, trying to get you off that fence here, Doug. <laughs> these, guys, these guys won't let me. <laughs> exactly. Blood from the top of the nose of Vargas. He's ready to cut on the right eyebrow or the left eyebrow. That was just from a headbutt early on. There's been a lot of right crosses that has landed on that laceration and made it worse. Both of the fighters with heavy body shots. Wonder how they're going to start taking a toll here as we go to the later rounds. Nice jabs from Vargas. Good upper body movement from Vargas. It's one of the things we ask other fighters about Siri Salido. He said, not much to him as far as quickness or movement, but some heavy hands that he has. Especially these guys that sparred with him. Oh, it, it gets the volume, though. It's crazy. I mean, with all the wear and tear in the body, to have this style, to still be on the world-class level 20 years after you turn pro with this kind of style. But does he know he has wear and tear on his body? He doesn't believe in it, no. He just has the right mindset to fight like a warrior. So he takes care of himself. Between fights, he's got to. Stays in shape, doesn't blow up. You see his body looking good. Both these fighters are great conditions. Well, obviously, they couldn't be doing this in round nine. They were in supreme condition. I think Vargas is having a pretty good round here. He's more accurate of the two. He's landed a lot of uppercuts. Forcing 
wants Alita to hold on in this round. This is a real throwback fight, though. This is the, the, the kind of fight where Mexican fans used to pack the, the Olympic Auditorium in downtown LA, and, and the fabulous film in Englewood, and watch guys like Carlos Zadate, Ruben Olivares, and Stop. all these great fighters it's in Mexico. Just go at it, just like these guys are going at it. And here they are, it's the main event, Stub Hub Center in Carson, California, around the world. At the Duran, Doug Fisher enjoying it ringside. I know you are wherever you're watching it. Do appreciate it. From Mexico City, Salido. It's Mexico City, Vargas. Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, Mexico, Salido. Body work from Salido here. Tough run, score there. Expectations or exceeds yeah. expectations. It's a special thing. And we have to acknowledge that. Yep. We can't get complacent. We can't, uh, you know, just take it for granted. Reading, you know, preparing for the fight, reading, reading, reading articles, reading, uh, written about this, the previews, whether it was by yourself, or Ring, or the other colleagues, or the other different boxing websites. But it still looked like Salido got like hurt for a bit in there. Yeah. He did not go down. Was a knockdown. They ruled a slip, but the crowd didn't see that. So Salido trying to jump back into this right away. Both fighters got an adrenaline oh, surge yes, from that slip. You know, Zan, though, before that, that everybody was just hyping this fight and this what they expected about it. And it wasn't hyperbole, man. Everybody was on the money. And if anything, Oh. It was undersold a bit because we didn't expect to see exactly. this good. I would agree with that. I mean, we didn't need to hype it. We didn't need to sell it, given the guys, these guys' track records. Oh. Given the pride on the line. I mean, who's winning this round? I don't know. I guess Bob is. He's coming out. Bob is yeah, coming out. Right More punches, heavier punches. Selena, who rocked a bit here in the 10th round. But he had been earlier in the fight. He fought back. Raul Caiz Sr. is looking very close to him. Salido breathing heavy here in the 10th round. He is 35 years old. Big punches landed by the younger fighter in Vargas, who's 30. And Vargas is loading up here in the 10th. Right hand from Mauri. It's a right from Salido. He only needs that one to get himself back into a round. My goodness, what a round. 30 seconds to go in the 10th. Vargas and Salido putting on a show in Carson. There have been many round of the year candidates <laughs> in this fight. At least three. This is one of them. It's June, Doug. It's the first weekend of June of what we're watching. Stop! Yes, Ten seconds to go. It's scheduled for 12 with the WBC Super Featherweight title on the line. Another good round for the Bermuda Vargas. I 
Vargas measures Salido for a right cross. Comes back with a hook. Another right. Another left that grazes. Salido comes back. Lands an overhand right. Momentarily pausing Vargas as they crash into each other. That was definitely Vargas' round. 11th round, undefeated Francisco Vargas in the black trunks with the blue trim. He's 23-0-1. He holds the belt. Coming off the fight of the year in 2015 with the Cachemira. And he's in another excellent scrap, this time with Orlando C.D. Salido. And Salido's coming out here. Maybe that 10th round really affected him. His corner was yelling at him. Comes out strong here in the 11th. I think that Salido is that Vargas has taken over the momentum of the fight. He just got hurt with the right cross. Vargas did. And a followed up by a left by Salido. And I think that uh, Salido's caught, told him the right thing to come out hard. Take the, take the play away from Vargas. Stem this momentum. So there was some concern or questions that maybe at the age of 35, could, would Salido get old overnight in the ring, which is a valid question considering how many fights he's had in his career, over 60, but doesn't look like it. He's just so motivated for this fight. I mean, he's held titles in, in two weight classes. He's never held the WTC title, which means so much to so many Mexican fighters. Yeah, strap as yeah he held the, the IBF strap, the WBA strap, the WBO strap, who's an, an interim version of it. He wants that green belt. And I think he looked at Vargas and said, hey, this is a guy who stands and trades. I, that's the kind of fighter that I want. That's the kind of fighter I can impose my style and my will upon. So and he came in here believing he can win. Good run to land by Vargas. Another clash of heads there. Okay, he might have jumped in. No, let him go. I don't know. I heard everyone say, you know, Salido might be, you know, faded, past his prime. I, I, just, I wasn't buying it. He wasn't buying it, but uh, I know he'd, he'd bring the ruckus. He's bringing the ruckus. He doesn't look bad, doesn't look past his prime. But he's in there just a younger, undefeated fighter with a stiff jab for Francisco Vargas. They're giving each other hell. They're raising hell in there right now. Stop. Stop. Let's right now. Let's These last rounds, this is when you got to dig even deeper. Because uh, in Mexico, in Spanish, they call them Guerrero Warriors. Yeah. This is where you gotta get that Warriors period. Dig in and go. Both guys have taken so much punishment. Not just to the head, but to the body. The right eye of Vargas is really swelling fast in this round. Some blood coming out of it. And that was the right eye that was really swollen against Mira in his last fight in Las Vegas in November. The one that they had some concern that maybe he needed more time between fights. Gave his face fully heal. Final seconds of the round, and we're going to head to the 12th. Did Salido steal that last round? Ooh, I think it's close. Tell you what, the 11th round was toe to toe action. Very, very close, but though, but I scored for Salido. How do you have it now? Six rounds to six rounds to five for Vargas. So very close fight. Doug, I agree with you about 99.9% of the time. So this time I'm going to go one hundred. Second now, here we go. Michael Buffer with the asking the crowd to give applause, and they do. We have to. final round. Taiz is going to stop it right here. He's going to go have the doctor check out that cut again. Right now. Right, right before. But this is good for Salido, though. Gives him a break here. Oh, that's true. More Vaseline gets put on there. Starts it. Touch gloves. Here we go. Salido. Little, little, 10 more seconds to breathe. 
crowd on their feet and stuff. Is and Salido just gonna come out blazing in this one? I expect both guys to empty the tank. Nobody's sitting and stuff. Except for the ones ringside, but everybody else in the stand standing up. Vargas has to fight smart. I think he is slightly ahead. He wants to protect that, that lead. Vargas undefeated. He's the champion in black. Leo trying to win a WBC belt for the first time in his career. He's the Another clash. He's trying to work behind the jab, operate from a distance. That clash right there, Doug, opened up more on the right eyebrow of Vargas. His blood coming out of that right eye now. Vargas holding on to him. He's holding right there, clenching. Better to move. What the reporter told him, look, the left hook landed by Salido. Vargas trying to keep Salido close. I'm going to let him try to extend his hands. They are trading crosses and hooks. Right hand from Salido. Left from Salido. Sonora fighter doing all the work here as Vargas, the Mexico City fighter, is holding on. Right from Salido. Another right. Oh, a big right from Vargas. Salido takes it and adds one of his own. This is what crazy. an exchange. This is. My goodness. This is a fight. This is not a boxing match. Scrap. This, yeah, this is a bloody, brutal scrap. The quintessential battle of attrition. Right hand. I'm not one for those big puns or those crazy different words, but this is just old-fashioned fight. This is what it is. I can go slap it out of Bonnie Brook, anything else you want. No, I don't go for the fun. This is just fun to watch. This is two warriors going at it. A lot of respect for them. And it's going to be really interesting to see how the judges have this one. Who gains the advantage? 30 seconds to go in what's been a real close fight. Fans have been on their feet from the opening bell. They've gone at it over and over. Both have landed big shots. Salido, 35 years old in the red. His face is red. 10 seconds to go in the fight. Two fighters who just gave it their all, left their hearts in the ring, and they put on a great show in Carson, California. That'll do it. Look at some of the repeats from that last round, Doug Fisher. Yeah, Jeff followed by an overhand right smash from Salido. Both guys load up. Vargas lands a head snapping overhand right. It was like that. I thought Salido looked like the stronger man in the 12th round. I scored it for him, so I have it six rounds apiece, Beto. I had this fight a draw. There is no loser in my eye. Do it again? Oh, no, I don't know. I think I, I think I can ask them to do that. If they do it again, they cannot do it this year. Oh, 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 do it next year. If anybody deserves a break, it's that man right there. Francisco Vargas. Probably a back to back fight of the year. I mean, Doug, how many rounds were we like? Oh, that could be the round. That could be the round. If anybody deserves uh, an easy fight, this is the class from the era. Then respect to Salido and Vargas. I know he wants he wants to fight the winner or the loser. Who knows? What a fight. This is one around uh, the press corps. They have it, a lot of them as a draw. That's how I see it. And this is, it, 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 they do announce. Usually when they have a draw, Crowds and I boo and her ball. Nah, him or, no, no. I mean, it was, either way, you're gonna salute both the fighters. You have to. 
Who, yeah. won, who won the day? The fans. Exactly. We don't see this kind of effort. Man, look at the, the battle scars oh. that Vargas is leaving this fight. Look how bloody the mouthpiece is of Salido. Look at the blood in that mouthpiece. His face is all knocked up. This is one where, you know, after the fight, the fighters get checked out by the commission. They go to the doctors. Then they come and talk to the press. You know, you know what? We don't have to talk to you tonight. Right? You just go. We know. We take care of you. So give us two good quotes. We get out of here. We don't need to sit around and do interviews with everybody. We don't really need quotes. It is what it is. The fight of the year candidate. One of the best fights I've seen all year. One of the best fights I've seen in several years. Decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the scorecards, a round of applause for these two blood and guts warriors in the ring here tonight. A candidate for fight of the year. Here are the score totals. Jerry Cantu scores it 115-113 for Vargas. Lou Barrett and Hubert Mim score it 114-114. A majority draw. The champion keeps the title. This fight is a draw. Fishing, you had it.